Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to this Arduino programming tutorial In this video I'm going to explain how we can use Arduino with other electronics So as of now I've already explained the Arduino basics And also I explained how we can use Arduino as a calculator So if you haven't watched those videos you can go back and watch them so now we will start with how we can use Arduino and other electronics. So what will be the learning outcomes? First of all, you will differentiate between digital and analog signals. Then you will use Arduino to read and generate digital and analog signals. Then finally, you will write a simple code of LED and push button connected to an Arduino. So how to write a code in Arduino? I'll explain this in only three steps so by the end of this video you will be able to write any code in only three steps so first of all let us uh, make a small revision here so as you can see there are 14 digital pins starting from 0 till 13 and you have to put into consideration the PWM value or the PWM pins uh, which are those pins with this sign I will explain when to use them here you can see there are six analog pins starting from A0 till A5 so now if I connect uh, an LED here so I will connect it in this example this LED is connected to pin 13 right so and the other of course should be connected to the ground as a first step in any code you have to initialize the pins how you can initialize the pins first of all you have to write integer int okay then write the pin name so the pin name actually it's up to you what do you want to write what name do you want to give but for your best interest it's really good to make it an easy name okay connecting to what exactly is connected here so for example here this is an led right so i'll just give it a name as led pen so this is the pen name here and then equal to 13 why did i choose 13 because i connect this led to pen number 13 so i think one of you will ask what's the difference between the digital and the analog here how can i decide where to connect my led so to answer this question let's move to the other slide signals so what is signal a signal is a physical quantity that represents information and there are two type of signals digital signal and analog signal what you have to know that digital signal represent a pattern of information zero or one that's it so whether it's one or zero nothing more what about the analog signals the analog signals is a continuous signal with infinite number of possibilities so if you have uh, a lot of data and a range of information not only one zero but you have zero one two three four five six seven or zero point one zero point two zero point three if you have infinite number of possibilities then we can use analog signal so let's have some examples here so if it is a potentiometer for example the potentiometer have a range of information right so it will consider it as analog so I have to connect it in the analog section okay what about the analog sensors so there are two types of sensors there's analog sensors and there's digital sensors if the sensor give you a range of information it will consider it as analog signal if the sensors give you only on or off one or zero only two variable whether high or low it will be considered as digital signals okay so what else the LED it's considered as digital signal because it's only on or off the motor also if you want to turn it on or turn it off it, it will be considered as digital signals what if we want to control the speed 
of a motor or what if we want to control or vary the brightness of an LED in this case we use the PWM value so what do we mean by the PWM value so this the PWM is the pulse width modulation actually it is a technique where a digital signal can be converted to the to an analog signal and vary the results okay so basically to control the motor speed we take this digital signal and the arduino convert it to an analog signal in order for us to control the speed the same for the brightness here the motor and the brightness if you want to control uh, the speed or control the brightness we have to connect it in the PWM pins if we want to just only turn them on or off we just connect them to the digital pins the 14 digital pins here so what is the second step here so after initializing the pin and knowing where to connect them whether in digital or in analog pins now we have to introduce everything we put in the pins in the void setup okay every line every integers or every pin name we define or we declare in the uh, code we have to write a line of code in the void setup so what will be the line of code it will be pin mode command so what is pin mode command in pen mode command we have to write down the pen name that we already initialized it and we have to decide is it input or is it output okay so how we can do this how we can know whether the led considered as input or is it considered as output this will lead us to the second slide here so what is the difference between inputs and output if you use your hand in anything that means it will be as an input signal for the arduino so push button i use my hand right so i use my hand to push the button so me pushing considered as one of the effect in the environment for the arduino the sensors the sensors actually collecting the data from the environment right so those are all the things considered as input so if i use my hand if i collect information from the environment so this is input okay what about the output the output is everything you can see as a result so the led is output right because i can see the lights so it's, it's an output the motor if it's working not working so it's an output the buzzer if i can hear a voice or not so it's an output so this is actually the difference between input and output so in our example the led pin is connected to pin 13 so we already initialized it integer and led pin which is the pin name equal to 13 then we know that there are two main functions void setup and void loop and the second step here is to identify what is the pen mode okay whether it's input or output so here this led is considered as output so we just write down pen mode and then led pen is output and that's it so now let's move to the third and the final step so we have already initialized our pen there is two main function as we know the pen mode always in the void setup and then what we have to write in our void loop okay so we know that this led is considered as output right so directly if it's output you have to put in your mind that you're gonna use the right function okay if it is input you're gonna use the read function so if it's input the arduino will read the value if it's output the arduino will write a value or it will write so it's like it will give a command okay to the things to turn on or to turn off okay so in this case of course the led is considered as digital so i have to to 
use the digital write function. So now let us understand more about the digital or analog write. So if it is input, we agreed that we're gonna use the write. If it is digital, you will start with the pen name and then you will initialize it to high or low. It depends what you want. Do you want to, to turn on the LED or do you want to turn it off? Okay. And then if it's analog value, you have to write the analog write, then the pen name, then the value here. Okay, so in this case, the LED here, we want to turn it on. So we will use digital right. Since you want to turn it on, of course, you will not use low because low is for turn off. High is for turn on. But before that, I have to start with the pen name, which is LED pen. LED pen and then we'll write high. So now let's go to Tinkercad and start coding. So let's create new circuit. Arduino. Let's drag this one with an LED connected to it. Okay. This is the code. Let's click on text, continue. And here it is. So here is the circuit. There's an LED connected to pen 13. And here we can write our own code. So as you can have a look, just I want you to have a look at the given example here. As you can see, there is no initialization or declaration for any variable. Why? Because they put 13 exactly in each line. But this is actually hectic because if you change it, Physically, you have to change the information in every line. But if you just declare it, it will be easier for you to change it only one time. Okay, so let me clean everything here and start from scratch. See, let me just change this just for the sake of knowledge. Okay, so let's start by declaring our variable and where is the LED is actually connected. So LED is actually connected to pin number 8. So int, I'll give it, I'll give my LED a name, so I'll call it LED uh, red, red LED pen, equal, where it is, it's in number 8, in pen number 8, okay? Here in the voice setup, I have to use pen mode, pen mode, so this red led pen is out put and then let me close the bracket and don't forget the semicolon so now i just want this light to turn on so since it's output directly here i have to know that it will be a write function okay but is it an analog or digital the led here is digital i just want it to, to turn on or off so it will be digital write w in capital i open the bracket what do i want to turn on or to turn off i want to turn on or to turn off this led pen right so i'll copy this variable here the name of this variable i want to turn on this led pen and how can i write this so if it's digital right, I will just here, I have to write low or high, depends on what I want to do. So here, I just want to make it high. Okay, then semicolon. Okay, and then let's start the simulation. So as you can see, the LED is turned on and it will, and it will be on forever. Okay, because there's no restriction for time or anything. Let me stop the simulation, it's off. I'll start the simulation, it will be on till the battery die. And that's it.